in this next example, ladies and gentlemen, we have a binomial. And all I wanted you guys to do is rewrite with this binomial is just to remember, what if we had x plus 2 times x minus 2? Well, there's a couple things we should know about this, guys. First, you guys could have just completed FOIL. Excuse me, Mr. You could have done FOIL, or you also could have done the box method, right? Well, also, even if you're a little bit even more trained, you guys would have seen that this is the difference of two squares, meaning I don't need to multiply the first, I don't need to multiply the middle terms. I can just multiply the first two terms and the last two terms. However, students often get this confused, and they start doing this with every single term. So I'm actually going to completely multiply this out. And then I'll explain why there was a shortcut and when to use the shortcut and when not to use a shortcut. So my preferred method, ladies and gentlemen, when multiplying binomials is to write one binomial on the top of a square uh, or a box and then put the other binomial on the other side. When you're multiplying, you're finding the product. You're finding the area. So when you write it like this, Jack, Jack all you're basically doing is now finding the area by length times width of each little box. So the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is square root of 25. The square root of 5 times the square root of 11 is going to be the square root of 55. The square root of 5 times negative square root of 11 is negative square root of 55. And negative square root of 11 times the square root of 11 is going to be the square root of 121. Now, the reason. Thank you. Now, the reason why I knew this was a difference in two squares, ladies and gentlemen, any time you have the same number, same numbers, but the only difference is one is, and the one is addition and one is subtraction, is the difference of two squares. And what happens with the difference of two squares is the middle terms always, divide, always add to 0. So we don't need them anymore. Because what's square root of 55 minus square root of 55? Zero. 0, right? So really, all I had to do was multiply my first two terms and my last two terms. That only works, though, when they're exactly the same, one positive, one negative. Do not do this to other numbers. For instance, like x plus 3 times, um, this one gets the students, like x plus 3 squared does not equal x squared plus 3 squared. you got to multiply them out, just like we did before. So there's no short, the only time you can use the shortcut is when they're exactly the same, one positive, one negative. Other than use the box method. And you can still use the box method, right? These just went to 0. So what's the square root of 25? 5. What is the square root of 121? 11. Times negative 1? Negative 11. What's 5 minus 11? That's your answer. Negative 6. Boom. Done. Fine. Boom. <laughs>